All right, so let's take a look at finding the exact value of trig functions using reference angles. Okay, so we've got the sine of 240 degrees. So we don't really know what the sine of 240 degrees is, uh, but we do know we do know the sine, cosine, and tangent of 30 degrees. 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use reference angles so we can get a value. Okay, now and remember your reference angle is between 0 and 90. Okay, and that's where this 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees is going to come in handy. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to we want to sketch this angle. So 240 degrees, that's in the third quadrant. So that would be 240 degrees. And now what we need to do is find our reference angle. And our reference angle is here. It's measured off the x-axis. Now I have a I have a video uh, another video on reference angles that you can check out and it, sh it goes over how to find all these reference angles okay if you need more detail on those all right so first let's find our reference angle okay so our reference angle is going to be the 240 degrees okay and then to get this angle right here what we'll have to do is we'll have to take the 240 degrees and then we'll have to subtract off what 180 degrees and that will leave us with just this so our reference angle is equal to 240 degrees minus 180 degrees so our reference angle is 60 degrees okay so this is what we're going to use so we've got sine of 2 we've got sine of 240 degrees is equal to alright so how are we going to get this value well what is the sine of 60 degrees well the sine of 60 degrees and this is one that you're supposed to know you're supposed to memorize the sine cosine and tangent of 30 45 and 60 degrees as well as 90 180 270 360 and 0 degrees you should remember all of those and believe me if you will remember those it'll make your life a lot easier in trig alright so the sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. Okay. Now, this is not our final answer. Now, if you remember, if you remember, all students take calculus. Okay. Remember, all the trig functions are positive in the first quadrant. Sine and cosecant are positive in the second quadrant only tangent and cotangent are positive in the third quadrant and only cosine and secant are positive in the third quadrant so which quadrant are we in well we're in the third quadrant so sine is what in the third quadrant sine is negative because sine is only positive in the second and the first quadrant so this would be negative square root of three over two and that would be your answer. So what you're doing when you're finding the reference angles, you're using the reference angle to get this value and then you have to determine what sign you use, whether it's positive or negative, based on which quadrant you're in. And that's basically what we're doing when we're finding the exact value and we're using the reference angles. Alright, let's take a look at another example we got tangent of 315 degrees okay so let's go ahead and draw a sketch there's 315 degrees all 
right in our reference angle remember it's measured off the x-axis so here's our reference angle so to find our reference angle that's going to be 360 degrees we'll go all the way around and then we'll subtract off the 315 let me just draw that so it's 360 degrees and then we're taking off the 315 and that leaves us with just the reference angle so our reference angle would be 360 minus 315 and that's going to leave us with 45 degrees that's our reference angle all right so the tangent of 315 degrees well what's the tangent of 45 degrees well the tangent of 45 degrees is 1 okay and which quadrant are we in we're in the fourth quadrant what's tangent in the fourth quadrant well tangents negative remember all students take calculus and that would be your answer all right let's take a look at another one all right secant of 300 degrees all right well we we may not really know the secant of 300 degrees so what would we have to do here <clears throat> maybe find maybe find the what the cosine of 300 degrees first and if we do that then we can do what once we get cosine we can just take the reciprocal and that would give us secant okay so let's go ahead and graph it so we're at 300 degrees and our reference angle is measured off the x-axis all right so now we have our reference angle our reference angle is going to be what 360 and then we're going to subtract off 300 and that'll leave us with the reference angle so that's 360 minus 300 equals 60 degrees and like I said if you want if you need some more detail on how to find the reference angle check out my other video on reference angles okay now let's find the cosine of 300 well what's the cosine of 60 the cosine of 60 is one half okay and we're in the fourth quadrant what's cosine in the fourth quadrant cosine is positive remember all students take calculus so see here in the fourth quadrant cosine and secant are both positive in the fourth quadrant okay so we've got cosine of 300 is positive one half so this will stay positive so that means that secant of 300 degrees is the reciprocal of the cosine so that would be 2 all right let's take a look at one more here we have sine of 495 degrees okay sine of 495 well the first thing we want to do we're finding the exact value is we need to get this angle measure between 0 and 360 degrees okay and this this comes uh, th this right here is based on coterminal angles okay remember the coterminal angles okay you can add 360 or subtract 360 okay the, and they have the same terminal side all right so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 495 and I'm going to subtract 360 so 495 minus 360 is going to give me 135 
so basically what we have here is 495 495 degrees and 135 degrees they have the same terminal side okay okay so here's 135 okay and we can use this because see 495 would be this angle it would be that okay it just goes it has it has more rotations in it but it's still the same terminal side so the sine of 135 degrees and the sine of 495 degrees they're going to have the same value because they're the same terminal side all right so let me erase this right here all right so now let's find our reference angle now remember your reference angle is measured off the x-axis okay all right and so now we have what we have 180 degrees and we're going to subtract off the 135 and that'll leave us with our reference angle so our reference angle would be 180 minus 135 which is 45 degrees okay so now we have the sine of 495 is equal to okay so what's what's the sine of 45 degrees well the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2 all right now we have to determine our sine if it's positive or negative well we're in the second quadrant and remember all students take calculus so we're in the second quadrant sine is positive in the second quadrant so our answer will stay positive and so this would be our solution all right so i hope this video has helped if you need to see uh if you need more explained to you about finding the reference angles check my other video out uh, how to find you know finding reference angles uh, so i hope this i hope this has helped uh, if you liked my videos, you can watch the other ones and you can subscribe. Alright, thanks.